Hello everyone, it's Canadian Titan here and we're back with some more Card Creator. This is an application that I've used to create a couple different card games and I really enjoy. And if you haven't heard of it, you should definitely check it out. They just released a new version, Update 2.4. They're one of the few companies that are groups of people, like, I don't even know if they're a company yet, but they're one of the few groups of people that actually put out their roadmap on Trello for you to look at and give feedback on. I think that's really impressive. But this today we're going to talk about 2.4 so let's create a new blueprint all of this stuff looks pretty much like I would expect it to be hey they finally got the brackets working they give some examples of the different sizes so you can have ticket to ride card size tarot Dixit wallet size you can do business cards on here I don't know why you'd want to but you can course standard which is like magic gathering stuff like that uh, let's go ahead and say yes to that you can see they've kind of refined how you do the numbering so we can have like five of those cards and we're gonna call this one the win card and in here it's gonna have an image of let's see let's see we'll just grab one of the images here look at that it's me I'm the win card and there's five of them let's go ahead and save we'll just call it win nothing changed here let's go through some of the the change log so they added a scan code panel type. I don't know what that means. Let's see, we'll do that. Oops, let's join those back together. Ooh, they have rotation. And they do have a QR thing. So you could put in a URL. And by default now, well, let's not make my picture too small. There'll be a QR code on the bottom of each card and you can switch that up based on each card, which is kind of interesting. They have padding, which I think they had before. Rotation, that's always fun. I don't know which way is up. You can turn it on and off from in here. Okay, so that's the scan code panel type. Um, uh, added panel materi materials for various panel types. Okay, so that means, uh, let's see if we can get that to work. What does this do? So this is a padding, an inside padding, fit mode. Interesting. Advanced, field label locked. I think locked is another new one. You can actually lock it, which is great. Uh, Oops, where can I find the rounded corners? Rounded corners, where's the rounded corners? We have outline. Oh, we have fonts. All of my system fonts are now available, which is, I mean, that is a long time coming. That for me is so exciting. Fonts, oh my goodness. I know it's silly, but wow. I am so happy to see fonts in there. Uh, outline color. That's all great. You can change this to millimeters or pixels or inches, which is fine. Um, they also set it so that you can lock a blueprint. Now, I am not exactly sure how you do that, but apparently it is a thing. You can now lock blueprints, so that's good. Because what ends up happening is you click on create a new card set and you grab this and you accidentally link it and you change one and oh it becomes a messy experience but it looks like there's an ability somewhere to lock it which is great uh disable toggle to dis disable a panel in a card editor which is great sometimes you might want to have something like um let's see if i can load one of my card games here Ooh, that's not a good one let's load a different one
There we go. Takes a minute because my images are so big. So let's say for some of these cards, this one here, we don't want this icon, let's just say. We don't want to disable on all of them, so we can actually just turn it off on this one. Ta-da! Super, super helpful. I like that a lot. What else? Uh, added image pan zoom support on Blueprint Editor. Oops, let's go to one with an image. Uh, background. Advanced. Oops. I don't know how to pan or zoom that. Oh, because it's not really an image, is it? It's an icon. Oh, David. One of these days, you'll figure it out. Let's go into this one here. Mass UI fit mode. This is pretty interesting. Stretch, fit height, fit width. So that's important. Boom, 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 boom. It's updating all of them, but they all pretty much are set that way. Anyways. Um, added support for justified text alignment, improved blueprint selection pop-up phrasing, move panel layout options over selected panel, move backup folders path to keep them more organized, which is good. Um, move padding changes events so it's updated while typing, which is nice. After editing a field set as card name, all their text fields are updated in case they reference the variable. Interesting. Enable page up, page down to navigate in card editor. What does that mean? If I do, oh, ooh, I like that. That makes for fast editing. Instead of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, I can do that card and then I can page down and do that card. That's great. I like that feature. Little little things are so important. Uh, let's see, save last use icons plus colors in the icon picker. That's nice. Save last use colors in the color picker. That's nice. Allow all fields to be reset to blueprint values in card editor. Interesting. Highlight currently selected panel type in Blueprint Editor's radial menu. Eh, I mean, I get why you would want to do that. Right? It's highlighting that this is an image. But not super important. Kind of nice to have. Uh, add total collection card count next to collection name. Really? Uh, yeah, 17. I don't, I don't think that's different, is it? I feel like that's the way it was before. What do I know? Uh, this text is uses card name, but I actually don't see the card names in here. Is it because, no, nope. it's not because of how I have that set up. All right. Ooh, I did that. All right, um, back to the list of updates. Icon filter searches in icon picker now works across all icon categories. Thank goodness. It was so annoying. If you didn't know what category here, I'll show you an example. So let's go in here. If you didn't know what category, the fact that there were even categories for me at first, I didn't realize. I thought this was all the icons that it included, but there's this drop down. If you haven't noticed it, it's there. Anyways, and there's all these other categories of icons. But if you didn't know that you were looking for a truck, under let's, I know, transport, but right now it searches all of them and that's super, super helpful. All right, what else do we have? Merge inline icons and variables tab into a single window. I don't know what that means. And then there was a bunch of bug fixes, which is great. Um, they've been really good about the bug fixes that they've applied to this whole thing. Um, let's, let's look at the export and see if anything's changed there. So I'm going to export all the sets. I'm going to do a little less spacing. It's currently not showing the previews on there, which is not great. Scale override one. Oh, there they come. They're just a little slow because my images are so big. Hey, look at that. That's great. That looks good. 
I click export, I'm going to select a spot for it. It's going to export it. It's generating tabletop files. For those of you that don't know, it actually generates files for, what's it called? Tabletop Simulator. If you don't have Tabletop Simulator, you should get it, number one. And number two, uh, Tabletop Simulator allows you to, I don't know if I even put out the Tabletop Simulator version of the um, Tubers card game, but if you want it, let me know. Um, but yeah, it, it exports cards for that, which is just great. Um, it's very good about lining things up so they can be cut. I got mine done at Staples. They can do double-sided. Their alignment was actually pretty good. Uh, super impressed. I used to have issues with the out, outport, uh, export, <laughs> outport. I looked at output and export at the same time. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that's uh, the new card creator. 2.4 by Pixelato, and I really love this application. And if you don't have it, you should really pick it up. Uh, let's go to the store page really quickly. So yeah, it's $22. Um, I haven't seen it on sale yet. They continue to develop it at an amazing pace. I've seen the first version uh, that they put out and it is nowhere near as amazing as what you can do now. Um, the only limitation in this software is really just your ability to do graphic design. And I've been lucky and able to find some designers to help me out with that. So if you have a chance, I suggest checking out the new Card Creator 2.4. Some great updates, some great features. And don't forget, if you're interested in what's coming next in Card Creator, they post their roadmap on Trello for everyone to view. You can find it in on Steam under Discussions, and then pinned is Roadmap and Development Status, and you can click on Go to Roadmap, and it'll load up a Trello page with what they're doing next. So it'll talk about, you know, they just finished 2.4. 2.5 is called Consistence. It'll allow, it'll fix some text alignment discrepancies between blueprints and cards. It'll enable correct size exporting of multi multiple layouts, so different size cards. It'll allow you to save set zoom levels and fold unfold state for project data. It'll add a preview text on font importer window. Just super interesting. And then they have already specced out what they're gonna do for 3.0, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 4.0, 4.1. And then they have a whole list of ideas, but they're always looking for feedback. So go ahead and check it out. That's uh, Card Creator 2.4. Thank you so much for watching. This is Canadian Titan.